Well, if there was ever a day where my plans literally change at the 11th hour, well, today is the day. I had this afternoon planned, I had tomorrow planned, and that's literally all changed now because of bad weather conditions, but I'll explain a little bit more about that when I get further up. But at the moment, I'm at the Roaches. We'll chat again when I'm a little bit higher. Oh, I cannot stress how cold and windy it is here at the moment. Last night, uh, I looked at this morning's forecast and it said one degree with the wind feels like minus five and it really does. I literally can't feel my ears at the moment and I've just come round into this little outcrop here just to get out of the wind. I couldn't even film anything coming up because that tripod would have got blown over but here has a little bit of respite from the wind. Anyway, as I said earlier, my plans totally changed. I was actually coming to the Roaches to meet up with another photographer. And we was meeting at 11.30 today. But the forecast this morning, the weather had changed. And from about midday, right the way through to sunset, there's heavy rain. So we've decided to rearrange our get together for later on during the summer. But I didn't want a, a repeat of me being trapped in the van for 40 hours like I was at Snowdonia. Um, and so I thought, I, I need to get out this morning. Um, and I'm just going to be out for as long as I can until the rain hits. And then at least I can go back down to the van and have an afternoon in the van rather than all day in the van. So yeah, so I've come to the Roaches, never been here before. I've done no research on it because Ian, who I was meeting up with, he knows the area really well and I thought I'll just let him lead the way and I'll follow, which was obviously now a big mistake. So I'm going to have a walk around. I'm really not fast. I mean, I've missed Sunrise by about two hours now. Um, so I'm just going to have a walk around. I'm just pleased to be out. I'm pleased to explore. And if I can get a shot, all well and good. Uh, if not, I'm more than happy, to be honest with you, just kind of scouting the area, exploring the area for possibly tomorrow or even later on during the year. But yeah, so I'm going to leave this lovely little bit of shelter now and I'm going to head back out in a tornado alley. Well, I'm not too sure if I'm meant to be up on that ridge line uh, for some of the the best images but at the moment the pathway that I'm taking is just kind of taking me through this I don't know do you call it a copse um, but it's really nice and it's really nice just being out the wind actually so uh, I'm going to carry on walking through here and uh, hopefully I'll come to something that's that's worth investigating at least. Well, I've come to a fork in the road now and one way leads me further down, perhaps into the valley, and the other one goes up to the ridge line. So I think that's decision made. So now I need to start heading further up into that wind. know how well this camera is actually picking this up but behind me <coughs> and in that direction there is some some blue skies <laughs> however in that direction which is where the wind is blowing from that is where all the very dark rain clouds are coming from now so I'm gonna keep pushing on because you've got to think optimistic. All of this could just blow over. And within an hour, it'll be sunbathing weather. <laughs> or hypothermia weather. One of the two. Oh, I'm going to have to wait for that wind to drop. Mind you, I say drop. That's not dropped all the time I've been up here. I'll have to review that image. In fact, let's review that image now. Yeah, it's not sharp, but um, there's not much I can do with all this wind. 
no, that's not working at all. Uh, it's just so blurred. Ah, oh, seriously, this wind is incredible. Um, I'm now on a, a 60th of a second, and uh, I, I've yet to press the shutter button. I just can't. It, it's just it's just blowing a gal. Right. Well, there's one thing when it comes to, let's say, being uncomfortable when you come to being cold or a bit wet, but I do draw the line when I start to feel a little bit unsafe. Just on that ridge, there is a drop, and I've had the camera set up here, my main camera, um, and, and I just don't feel safe at all. The light is not fantastic, so no image is worth dying for, and I don't actually get in blown over there a couple of times I've had to hang on to the tripod and or crouch down so no image is worth dying for especially an image that's got flat light so I think the ridge line today is has beaten me um, and I'm going to go further down and see if I can just get out of this ferocious wind because quite frankly everything I'm taking an image of anyway is blurred oh man that just wasn't funny. I mean, you can see the ridge line there behind me. So, what am I? I don't know, 60, 70 foot below the ridge line, and there's hardly any wind. You know, and I'm all for persevering. I don't mind waiting for the right light. I don't mind waiting for an hour or so, or, you know, spending the whole day kind of walking about. You know, that doesn't bother me, but in them kind of conditions you know you've just got to know where to draw the line i mean it would have been nice to be able to change lenses you know going a little bit tighter put the wider lens on go wider just play around with filters different settings but everything up there was just impossible it really was just kind of clinging hold of the tripod let alone trying to change lenses and walk away to the bag so yeah i think sometimes you just have to admit defeat and uh, perhaps call it for another day. Well, good morning. In fact, shall I come this side a little bit trying to get out of this wind? Well, obviously I'm back at the roaches and uh, the conditions today are better. It's still incredibly windy, but it's not as cold. Um, and uh, there's very little rain forecast for today, which is good. I will come back this side, sorry, I'm faffing. Um, so yeah, yesterday it was um, it was quite strange actually. I, something something happened that um, when I went back into the campsite, uh, the lady who owns the campsite, we got chatting and she said to me, uh, gave me one of her kind of leaflets and she said, do you recognise this image? And I said, yeah, it's of Mam Tor. It's that very kind of iconic shot where you have got the pathway leading up. And um, she said, yeah, exactly. She said, we don't have a, a picture of the roaches, even though we're two miles from the place. So she said to me, if you're back up there, could you try and get a, a, a shot for us and perhaps we can use it on our next publication. So um, what I've done, I'm, I've come to kind of quite the iconic shot. Now, it's about five minutes now before sunrise. And in fact, over obviously to the east, um, that sky is beautiful, it's red and it's orange, but behind me, or behind the image, it, it's just very low cloud, nothing's being lit up at all, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to change just to, to phot photograph that, because quite frankly there's nothing over there uh, of any interest. Now again, on their leaflet, uh, the, the shot was a portrait orientation. But I feel that this works with landscape, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sacrifice what I th feel is the best composition to suit orientation. Um, what I'll do, I'll get the shot when I know that I'm happy with it, and then I might change it to to portrait, you know, just to play around. But at the moment, um, yeah, I'm quite happy just waiting. And it's a real shame because that sky over there looks absolutely beautiful. I just wish them clouds were over there. But there you go. You can't win it all.
Right, well, that's me done now on the ridge line. Once my hat blows off, I know it's time to go down. So, uh, yeah, I've given it a good crack. I really have, but it's really challenging with obviously the blurred trees and all the grasses. I mean, I've cranked this ISO up to 1250 now, uh, which I don't actually think, well, it might work, I'm not too sure, but it might look okay on a print, to be honest with you. Uh, perhaps I shouldn't be as fearful as the high ISOs. Perhaps I'll get a bit more confident the more experience I have with printing. But uh, yeah, I've got no light whatsoever. Everything's flat, which would have made this particular image really nice, you know, if, if some of the sunlight would have lit up all the foreground here, but I don't. So now I'm gonna head back down to that copse of trees where I can at least catch my breath. Well, I had every intention of doing the ending to this video up in the woods. But I was so close to the van, I could smell the tea. So uh, I decided to come back, have a cup of tea, and then do the ending. Perfect. That's why I love that van. It's not as portable as a jet boil, but uh, it's, the, it's the next best thing. Now, over the last couple of days, as you've seen, if you've made it this far in the video, it's been a real mixed bag of weather and the filming that I've been doing, I have no idea how I'm even gonna edit this into a video yet. So if it's been a little bit jumbled, please accept my apologies. Um, along with the images, I've no idea how they've come out or how they will come out if you've not seen them yet. Um, but I've done my best with the ability that I've got and the conditions that I've got as well, or I've had, so. Uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a great couple of days, a real experience, and that's why I've said on my previous videos, if anyone doesn't vlog, I, I'd highly recommend it, even if you just want to keep it on the computer for nobody to see, just yourself. It's just a great way of, of, of recording you know, all your memories. But anyway, I'm going to end the video. I'm going to say, as I always do, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please consider doing so and also tapping that little notification bell for future videos. But until next week's video, see ya.